All right, what's up, y'all? The Mad Hooter here. Uh, let's get it right after this thing. I want to address uh, address the uh, the whole Google firing deal. Um, in the grand scheme of things, for me, I guess, well, maybe not the grand scheme, but the immediate thing, it's a little bit of a who cares deal i mean google fired somebody over some stupid shit but in the grand scheme of things it does have some uh, social impacts here because google is such a big company and they also have some influence over what people search and see and uh, talk about on the internet so that that's uh there there is some reason for concern there so um First thing is uh, when I read the memo, uh, it was it was pretty well written and uh, thought out, and I thought it was totally reasonable. Um, I really didn't have anything to disagree with. So um, the only people that would be threatened by it were people who uh, believe like cultists in the uh, white patriarchal devil demon monster that's always looming down on uh, women and minorities uh, to basically uh, you know squash them in society uh, or, or the uh, the insufferable pay gap and racist uh, you know advantages for white people especially white men you know, so the people that believe that stuff, they're like, you know, uh, cultists like Jehovah's Witness or any other, uh, whatever, uh, you know, Scientology, whatever. I mean, they these people believe some some weird stuff. Uh, so, you know, hell, even even certain breeds of Christians. I mean, if you want to go the atheism route, uh, pretty much all that religion stuff can be questioned. Uh, easily there's there's stuff I mean you know like George Carlin says the invisible man in the sky thing you know that's something you gotta believe that's faith and so these people have faith in these uh, social justice warrior uh, whatever social issues like the pay gaps and all of that stuff so those are the people that are that are that were irritated by the memo from this guy um, them firing the dude it was a clear attack on uh, free thought and free speech. Uh, I mean, Google's its own corporation, and they have to fire, right to hire and fire whoever they want. Uh, but firing somebody for a belief that they have, uh, that's discrimination, and we have clear laws in this country that uh, protect people from discrimination, especially when it comes to hiring and firing you for a job. So, you know, that's, uh, that's you know, the, the First Amendment is clearly under attack there. Um, you know, they, they can't just say the differing of opinion is hurting them. And that's what some of the women said. They didn't want to show up to work the next day because the memo was, was damaging. They were damaged physically in some kind of way that they couldn't get their ass to work. Uh... It's wild. Uh, in the name of protecting creati or, uh, creativity and or creating, excuse me, in the name of creating diversity, they're inhibiting just that. They're taking diversity out because if everybody, you know, has fucking blue and green hair and uh, thinks like a social justice warrior, then where's the damn diversity? You don't have any uh, libertarians. Republicans, right wingers, or whatever. I mean, this is where that uh, that whole uh, what do they call it? The outrage mob comes in. You know that the, we're in the consensus now is everybody is self worth is based on their level of outrage. It's outrage culture. Um. The, and I, I believe that these people are just like cultists. They're really afraid to have their ideals challenged at all. Um, 
you know, because they might they might be uh, they might have to look in the mirror at some point and realize like, hey, uh, man, I was wrong about this. I saw the facts. I found out that the pay gap is not a thing. You know, there's an earning gap for a reason, and it's because of decisions that women tend to make, not because some man is making them for them. Uh, anyway, uh, this is uh, also slightly alarming because the invariable next step is to destroy or humiliate and, or character assassinate anyone who disagrees with them. Um, even to the extent like this, this guy, you know, wind up losing his job. And he was a smart guy, he's a championship chess player, and he's in the uh, engineering. You know, so it's not like the guy wasn't qualified to do his job. He just uh, he had wrong think, you know. And that uh, that's that's alarming that you can't think a certain way and still keep your job at Google. And it seems like uh, I saw something just a minute ago before I made this or decided to start making this video that now they're going after people who were sharing the video or the memo and uh, agreeing and we're talking about it. Um, this is – that's pretty bad. I mean, uh, is Twitter, you know, they're doing the same thing, Facebook – if you're attacking people because you don't like what they say, that's wrong. That, that's the First Amendment is clearly under attack there. Um, and what's getting me is these people should just go ahead. Why don't you just come out and say that you uh, disagree with the Constitution and you disagree with the ideals that the United States is built upon and what we're striving to achieve, which is you know, freedom and liberty. Uh, if if they would just come on out and say that and say, hey, we're against that and do something else, then we've got a clear path that says, okay, you don't want to have the America. You want to destroy the Constitution. You want something else. So just come on out and say it. Stop jerking around because, you know, the, these people, they're like, a, they're also a hate mob. You know, they, they hate American flags. They hate rebel flags. They hate... Uh, sports they hate they just i've seen these people on social media just take a dump on everything and it's like if it's not what's cool to them at that particular moment they just dump on it and so the wrong thing is all over the place it, and it's affecting everything uh, you can't like hot rods because you know the environment and blah 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 and noise or whatever you can't like football because blah blah Oh. Anyway, this is some authoritarian authoritarian bullshit, and I hope this guy sues the hell out of Google and wins, and I hope that it has some kind of uh, effect on him, because we need to make sure that if you care, if you don't care, whatever. I, I care about it, because you know I'm, I'm worried that my kids might not live in a place where they can speak their mind. Um, yeah, this is authoritarian, and we need to speak out against it. Because, you know, we're still, uh, we're fighting for some of our freedoms here. And it seems just like slowly but surely, you know, more and more of them keep taking it away. And something's closing in on us and I don't like it. Um, just speak out against it. I'm going to speak out against it. Share stuff around, whatever. Talk to people. And say, hey, you know, uh, talk to your local uh, officials and representatives and make sure that this message that we want to protect... Uh, the Bill of Rights and remain free. Make sure that they know that and make sure that they're voting that way. And if they're not, then we need to vote them out. That's uh, that's our only uh, recourse right now. Um, hopefully there won't have to be some kind of revolution where guns are going to come out. Hopefully. Hopefully we can do it with votes and words. But anyway, until that time... I'm the Mad Hooter. We'll see you later.